Have you ever looked up and thought, why isn't the sky green or pink or purple? Well, the answer is super cool. Welcome back to Know It All Kids, the place where big questions get fun answers. And it all starts with sunlight. First, let's talk about sunlight. Even though it looks white to our eyes, sunlight is actually made of many different colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. All mixed together. If you've ever seen a rainbow after a rainy day, you've actually seen sunlight split into all its beautiful colors. Rainbows happen when sunlight passes through tiny drops of water in the air, bending and breaking the light into different colors. Another fun way to see this is with a glass of water and a flashlight. If you shine the light at the right angle, you might see tiny rainbows. Now imagine Earth is surrounded by a giant, invisible blanket. This blanket is called the atmosphere, and it's full of gases like oxygen and nitrogen. There are also tiny, tiny dust particles and water droplets floating around, even if you can't see them. Even though air looks empty to us, it's actually packed with millions of tiny bits. They're so small that even a single breath you take contains trillions of air molecules. When sunlight travels through the atmosphere, it bumps into these tiny particles. And every time light hits a particle, it gets scattered. Kind of like when you throw a bouncy ball and it bounces everywhere. Now here's where things get really interesting. Not all colors of light behave the same way. Colors like blue and violet have short, bouncy waves. These short waves get scattered in all directions, much more than the longer, heavier waves like red and yellow. Imagine you're tossing feathers and bowling balls into the air. The light, feathery ones, like blue and violet light, would get tossed around a lot more. That's exactly what happens to the blue light in the atmosphere. But wait, if violet light gets scattered even more than blue, why don't we see a violet sky? Great question. There are two big reasons. First, our eyes are not very good at seeing violet. We're much better at seeing blue. Second, some of the violet light gets absorbed by the upper layers of the atmosphere before it even reaches us. So, to our eyes, the sky looks mostly blue. But did you know, the color of the sky can actually change depending on where you are and what time it is. At sunrise and sunset, the sky can turn amazing shades of red, orange, pink, and purple. That's because the sun is lower in the sky and sunlight has to travel through much more atmosphere to reach us. The blue light scatters away and the reds and oranges are what we see. And guess what? On other planets, the sky might not be blue at all. On Mars, for example, the sky often looks reddish because of all the red dust in its atmosphere. So if you were standing on Mars, you'd see a dusty red or butterscotch colored sky. Also, right after a big rainstorm, when the air is super clean, the sky can look extra deep blue. That's because there are fewer dust and pollution particles, so the blue light scatters even more clearly. Let's recap. Sunlight is made of all colors mixed together. Our atmosphere is full of tiny particles that scatter light. Blue light has short, jumpy waves that scatter much more than other colors. Our eyes are best at seeing blue, so that's the color we see most of all. Pretty amazing, right? Next time you look up at the big blue sky, you'll know the science behind it. Thanks for watching the Know It All Kids channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay curious. The world is full of amazing things to discover.